On Wednesday's rerun of A Place in the Sun, Channel 4 presenter Ben Hillman was on a mission to find Sue and Ollie their dream holiday home in Spain. With a budget of £70,000, retired bus driver Sue and postal worker Ollie were hoping to relocate from their hometown of West End Supermare. However, Ben didn't get off to the best of starts after he failed to meet the couple's criteria. Sue and Ollie wanted a property with plenty of land and somewhere that had a minimum of two bedrooms. The duo also told Ben they wanted a modern holiday home and they preferred to be inland rather than by the sea. The property expert didn't get off to the best of starts as Sue didn't seem to be impressed by the fact they had neighbors. I am not sure about the fact we have two sets of neighbors, Sue explained. When asked whether it was a problem, the house hunter promptly stopped him in his tracks by remarking, could be. Things didn't get much better when they stepped foot inside the holiday home as Sue did not like the tiles in the kitchen, while Ollie pointed out that it was a bit small. Ruling out the first property pretty quickly, Ben moved on to the second holiday home. The expert wanted to meet his guests' criteria with the second property, so he took them to a detached villa with no neighbors. Despite the fact the property wasn't modern, Sue and Ollie seemed to like it more than the first holiday home. I prefer this land, Al, Sue said as they walked around the outside of the property. It's not bad, Sue added. The third holiday home was located further inland and came with more than four acres of land. What are you going to do with all this land? Ben asked as Sue joked, run around. The couple seemed to like the home which was situated in the middle of nowhere. Sue was that impressed, she told Ben, you've got to do a lot to beat this. You've done well this time, Ben, the house hunter added. The fourth property failed to impress Sue, as she told Ben, I just don't like it. The frustrated expert went on to tell the couple, Your hard work, what have I got to do? After shutting down the fourth holiday home, Ben hoped the fifth and final property would win the duo over. The fifth holiday home threw a spanner in the works as Sue and Ollie seemed to like it. However, when it came to making a decision, the pair decided to put in an offer for property number five. They offered £60,000, which was shut down by the current owners. Sue then explained they would go up to £64,000, which was their final offer. However, the current owners quickly declined the offer and said they wanted the full asking price.